So you come out of her, that girl mm -hmm. was laughing at the yeah. beginning. If you were here with female, they would turn back into growing crystals. Right now, they're only growing slightly. You see how there's just a little tip on there? And there's another little tip forming. For every inch of crystal growing, you see this, like, it's almost as tiny as some of them are tiny as a toothpick. Like, for every inch, that's 100 years. So it takes, you look at some of these big ones. That big one that you guys passed by in the back, that's approximately 300,000 years old. And it's still growing, which is super amazing. So every time it's a little drip on a crystal or something like that, it's leaving behind the stuff that makes crystals. Water drips down, leaves behind the crystal stuff. So it's pretty cool. You guys want me to get technical? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is our There's a lot of passageways in the cave. There's a lot of passageways in the cave that uh, have not really been gone through in a long time. We do have. So on this particular tour, you guys aren't going to like miss any of the cool stuff. We're going to show you all the cool stuff that the cave has to offer. But beyond that, there's a whole other probably five miles of cave that we can crawl through, check out some stuff. It's a lot drier. See how it's dry inside yeah. of there? And that's where it's not as growing and it's not as drippy as like out here where you can see all the pretty crystals and stuff. But when we get into the deep holes, that's where a whole other adventure is. We could be in there 10 hours. I see nothing. You can't touch the crystal. That's the ten hour adventure you were saying you wanted, right? <laughs> Oof, that's yeah. narrow. Yeah. Awesome.